Uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, limbs, uh, specifically limbs for international limb fit bows, which are some examples are behind me here. Uh, you can get uh, limbs for like trainer bows, traditional bows, they tend to be bolt on and in general they will be uh, maple and glass fibre. But as I say in this video I want to talk specifically about international limb fit on Olympic recurve bows. Now we get asked a lot of the time uh, why are some limbs 80 pounds and some limbs are 800 pounds and what we're going to talk about in this video is the different type of materials that can be used in limbs and the pluses and minus on each type. Uh, just to clarify on this, when you're looking at listings on our site and others you'll see some that say uh, fibre maple or fibre wood, fibre foam when they talk about fibre, what they mean is glass fibre. If they're referring to carbon, they'll state carbon. So fibre is glass fibre and carbon is carbon, uh, not to get the two mixed up. Now this might be a bit heavy going for some people um, because we're going to look at the different materials and qualities. If you want it more in sort of like bite sizes or to be able to just read about it, we do have this information on our website as well and uh, a link will be appearing below to take you straight to that so that you don't have to plow through this video. So reviewing uh, the limbs, we're going to look at the different uh, combinations of materials and in general terms we're going to look at the impacts that they have on the performance of the bow, the feel of it, durability of the product and the cost. So uh, wood fibres uh, are probably the uh, least expensive ones on the market and tend to be the ones that entry level archers will use. Um, the materials are tend to be favoured by more traditional archers uh, because the wood offers a softer, uh, more forgiving feel. Um, wood core limbs uh, may not be as fast as or as powerful as synthetic materials but they do provide a stable and predictable release. As I said, in general they are sort of entry level, um, so you can pick up a pair of these from about £80 at the moment. Um, now in terms of durability, wood is less durable than synthetic cores and are more affected by environmental conditions like humidity or extreme temperatures. So the wood used uh, tends to be maple wood, uh, as it's the most suited to bows. However, you'll also find ones that are uh, fibre and bamboo. Now, the advantage of bamboo is it is uh, more flexible and durable than maple. Uh, and this makes it a whippier bow, so that in general bamboo limbs are a bit faster. So for the same poundage, you will get a faster arrow speed with a bamboo core than you would with a wood core. However, bamboo is a bit snappier than wood, and by snappy, I just mean it's a faster limb. So you might tend to get a bit more uh, feedback and a bit more vibration on a bamboo limb than you would on a maple limb. So to summarize, uh, wood core limbs are more popular amongst traditional archers or those looking for a sort of more classic, classic uh, smooth limb with less emphasis on arrow speed. So moving on to foam core limbs, so this would be a glass fibre and foam combination. Uh, this makes them uh, a lighter than a wooden limb, physically lighter in weight, and they typically have a, a snappier shot, so they're, they're a quicker limb to recover to the uh, rest position, um, which is useful for um, performance archers. So if a limb is faster, what it will do is it will also give you a uh, less of an arc to shoot through over uh, greater distances, so it's affected less by wind, etc. So foam cores are less affected by humidity and temperature, which makes them uh, more durable and they'll give a more consistent performance over different and although foam core limbs are a bit more expensive than wooden limbs, it doesn't put them out of reach of your sort of entry level intermediate archer. So foam core limbs are ideal for target shooters um, 
and those are looking for faster arrow speeds which will um, reduce the arc through which they have to shoot an arrow over distance and it reduces the um, effect of wind on the arrow as well uh, and it will also give you a consistent performance over all weather conditions. So lastly I want to look at uh, carbon limbs. So carbon limbs are ultra smooth in the shot uh, and they are lighter than wood or foam cores. Uh, the vibration after the release on these is minimised, leading to more comfortable shooting experience. So carbon limbs are the fastest of the three types and their superior energy transfer results in faster arrow speeds and increased accuracy, especially over longer distances. They do also recover uh, faster after the shot, which improves the consistency as well. Carbon limbs are the most expensive. Uh, for as mere mortals there are some other materials like graphene but we're not going to talk about that in this one. Um, so the extra cost is reflected in the high performance and the cutting edge technology that's used in that. Durability wise carbon is uh, highly durable and resistant to environmental changes so humidity, temperature etc and this makes these uh, limbs far more reliable across a wide range of conditions and the reduced weight of carbon also de decreases the strain on the archer themselves. Now different manufacturers will use the carbon in different ways. They'll lay down the layers of carbon in, in different ways in order to try and improve the performance of their limbs over others. Now you will get some limbs that are marked as carbon and some that are marked as 3K carbon and this really reflects on uh, the way that they're laid down and the method used. So uh, 3K carbon uh, ref refers to what they call the toe. So it's the thread of the, or the size of the thread of carbon that they use. So 3K means there's 3000 filaments in each thread. Uh, and this is ideal for limbs. So it can also get 6K and 12K, but they're used for different applications and not in archery. So as stated uh, at the beginning of this video, this information is also available on our website in written form and uh, you'll see the link for this uh, now. Uh, you can also uh, go to any one of our listings for limbs on our site and there's a link from there to the information page as well. So I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, and if anyone's got any questions, they can stick it in the uh, comments below or contact us directly through our contact page on our website. Thank you for listening.